Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're finishing season one of Hasman Hotel. This is episode eight, the show must go on. I am freaking excited, man. Everything has been leading up to this. The exterminations, going to heaven, finding out that heaven is a lie, which admittedly was also the best song in the entire show so far. And I don't really know what we're getting into here, other than it's going to be awesome, and I can't wait to see how this goes forward. If there's a resolution, if this is the end of the series, or if there's more coming down, which I heard might be the case because there's rumors that there is a second season planned. But I don't know if those rumors are true, so if they're not, that would be disappointing. More importantly, link below to Vivzy Pop's channel. Hit it up, and let's get started. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Oh, that's the last time I'm gonna hear that little opening ditty for a while, probably years. That's a disturbing thing to remember. What? Wait, Vox is watching. I mean, we knew Vox is watching them because he was established in the first series episode as opposed to the pilot that he's obsessed with Alistair and this is Alistair's new project. So he's probably up on everything that's happening. And the cannibal's on side, so he's aware of that. What's his take? Oh my god! Oh, looks like your little hotel didn't work out so well. I don't know, it looks like it's working out pretty well. Oh, Alistair, I cannot wait to watch you get fucked! Are those, uh, this is a weird thing to focus on, but on either side of Vox, I can't tell if those are supposed to be like silly representations of high powered PCs, which admittedly, if those are the cooling system next, but I'm actually a little jealous because that's a really cool depiction. Or is it supposed to be boom boxes pointed right at them? Both. It's probably both. I wonder why no one's done that yet. And all the cannibals. I wish my mom was here to see this. I have a feeling the Vox is going to be the one getting fight. everyone else in. Are we? Fear not, damsels. I shall have the staff ready for victorious. Oh my god. Serpentius is dressed as Napoleon. Serpentius isn't actually Napoleon in hell, is he? I have no idea. Also, I, I just love Charlie's little sparkles everywhere. And Maggie's just going, uh, you we know your track record. What in the hell are you supposed to be? General Pinchis reporting for duty. I'll turn those rap scallions into soldiers Hell in no time Thank you, Ben. Just what specifically only at Waterloo. I'm glad you How many eyes do those rats have? The base needs fortifications. Reinforce the southern wall. Create a moat around the perimeter to stop a ground assault. She doesn't understand a word this? of that. If you see an angel, stab it. <sighs> oh, specifically an angel from hell. Oh, sorry. Um... An angel that will die in hell. An angel from heaven that will die in hell. There's a big difference there. And she really is okay with that excuse for violence. I think we have all established by now, but I'm just restating the obvious. Nifty is the most dangerous person in this entire cast. Stab. <laughs> She's still listening, though. Listen up, sinners. We got 24 hours the moment where the pole dancing saves, this, or saves Angel's life. Is he getting jealous from seeing the... I just realized what Vox is being done with here. He's literally being used as a trading montage. So we're not actually seeing a trading montage. We're seeing Vox watching his recording of a trading montage. Uh, so it's a way to have one without actually having one. I can't tell if I hate or love this. Oh, kind of love it. They're gonna fucking die. They're, they're gonna die. He's slowing down how he says Hello? that. I want to thank everyone for coming. Even... Oh, so we've had the first instance where he's laughing the most. The second one where he's laughing, but it's a little lower. We're going to have one more time where he says, oh, oh, they're going to die. And he's not going to be okay with it. But that's probably not going to happen right away. People who aren't staying here yet. Cherry, look, I can't resist a fight, okay? Especially when I get to tag team with this fuckhead. Tomorrow, the exorcist angels will face a hell ready to defend itself and win. Yeah. Yeah, we will tell him, baby. Yes, and we are, we are going Is that the first time she said baby? Huh. But, in case we don't, I want you all to know that getting to know you has been the biggest honor of my life. On the one hand, nice. On the other hand, how is she so good at motivational speaking 
but also so bad at motivational speaking. Do not start a fight with, ah, they, uh, we're also probably going to die. And I really like you all. So please uh, know that as we're horribly slaughtered. It, it, just, why? I mean, that's also Charlie's entire character. So I'm not surprised. It's not a bad thing they're doing this. It's completely in character for her. But I want to know how she became her. Seems like there's a lot of weird shit going on. Whatever redemption really means... I know you all tried. I have seen the good in all Charlie's... of you, and it's... It just doesn't work. I... Oh, whoa, 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 what was that? Whatever redemption really means... Wait for it. Alisher's big fake tried. smile, everyone else going I for it. I have seen the good Her believing... in all of you, and it's... Oh! So Cherry's just like, oh, God, no one listened to this, which is exactly how everyone treated Charlie in the pilot. Oh, also, Vaggie's with an actual smile is so adorable. But then Cherry looks over to Angel, and Angel is legitimately happy and smiling and eating it up. Sorry, just... I'm remembering the opening song where it was... Not the opening song here, of course, we haven't heard that yet, but the opening song of the pilot where every demon is a rainbow or has a rainbow inside or whatever it is. It's been four years. I'm going to forget that fact, but that was just how Charlie's being great and everyone loves this and no one loves this and it's horrible and it's over the top and everyone ignored her. Great song, but in universe, it was a joke. Here, it's the entire exact opposite where she's talking about something much darker, but people are way happier and actually listening and respecting it. Even if it is cheesy as F. I, I'm just... <laughs> I love you all. So much, and something's gonna and happen. Live tonight, however you want, because we're all gonna die. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's give it up for not dying. Love not dying. <clears throat> Drinks. <laughs> yeah. Personally, Drinks work. It's been a long yeah, time since I stabbed uh, anyone. I'm really meant to. You know what I mean? Wait, what did she say? I've been in what? So what? What? All right, let's give it up for not dying. Love Go and turn that up. Dying. Drinks. I mean, personally, I'm excited. It's been a long time since I stabbed anyone and really meant it. You know what I mean? Oh, she said it's been a long time since I've stabbed it and really meant it. Yeah. Wait. Does that mean she's only been half-heartedly threatening people? I guess Charlie's been a good influence. This could be... Here's Josh. Here's to being alive today and not dying tomorrow. Oh, God, they're actually quoting back. Celebratory night before a courageous last stand. They're going to attack at night, aren't they? Surprising thrill to witness these wayward souls find connection. Almost makes one sentimental, eh, Nifty? I really like them, Alistair. They let me put on roach puppet shows without booing. Ah, an enjoyable collective to be They around. know better than to say anything. I admit one could get accustomed. He could? I dub thee King Roach. Oh. Uh. Hell roaches. She made a crown of hell roaches. And Alistair the deer has a crown of that involves wood. Yeah. To understand your twisted little mind. You really shouldn't. <laughs> when Alistair is the less crazy of the two. Last day of afterlife. And you're not off snorting a lion off some hunk's abs. Eh, you fucked one cannibal pool boy, you fucked them all. I guess you How many are there? Change. Probably a lot. Hey. Charlie said live tonight however we wanted. So pour me a fresh one. And let's get to living. <laughs> Even Husk is having this fun. Mom, Jerry, because he's been injured the entire time. Oh, I got to attach it. Sorry, I saw the backgrounds covered up by me, but uh, Charlie just has all the hearts coming off her in bag. He's just pushing her out of the screen. I love. Say it. I love to wish you good luck in the battle head. Okay. Just you say it. Have always been a worthy opponent with the most brilliant explosive contraptions I've ever seen. Whoa. Uh, thanks. Anyway, I guess please don't die tomorrow. Okay, bye. You know, you could totally tap that. <laughs> Don't be gross. Ah, you know. I hear he's got two dicks. Huh. That's just, I'm sorry, that face! <laughs> the face you made. Ooh. Well, oh, yes. Because that's a thing some snakes do. 
that that's just actually history or uh, not historically but actual anatomical fact for some animals unless it's not true in which case i have no idea where i learned that i thought it was a zoo i'm not gonna think about this too hard it gets really disturbing really fast oh what's it say on that <laughs> the bitch my baby these bitches this is angel's room So thinking sad. she's going to lose everyone. What if we lose? You've already done so Oh, she's starting the first song. So many lives you've changed. So many souls you've touched. And in the end, Have I heard this song? I've actually heard this song once before. My wife was listening to it. I knew I recognized it. I had no idea this was from Hasbin Hotel. Sorry, it's just it, the two singers harmonizing so well together. That gets me every time, damn it. I'm going to be a mess by the end of this one. Oh, God. I never realized this was from Hasbin Hotel. Or are they taking this from somewhere else? Oh, hey, they finally get shown kissing. It's been almost the entire season. Extermination day is here, bitches. We're gonna go down and exterminate demon ass. Destroy that ass. Prepare to slaughter. That that means something different. That shit hotel. And you all remember Vaggie. <laughs> so, oh, oh, they have individual voices. Did he just get freaked Vaggie. out? Did someone just out Adam? Adam? Oh wow, she's more unhinged than Adam. <laughs> I never expected that. I always thought she was the competent second. But no, she's enjoying this more. Anyway, whoever brings me Vaggie's head gets, uh, I don't know, a million heaven bucks. How about that, huh? Do they have heaven bucks? And he even has a guitar riff in the background. Oh yeah, right at the hotel. Get ready, everyone. Wait, she went X-Men armor and she... A cocktail dress? Honestly, it looks like she has even less protection than normal. We fight together. <laughs> if he's really excited. Come on, let's go. Oh wow, Cherry Bomb really changed up. Is she in a moo moo? I think that's what that dress is called. I have no idea. Also, she kind of looks like a Frankenstein stuff. Was her entire thing that she's like the Frankenstein of social media? Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably it. Now, for your soul. How long before Vex gets annoyed that Alice was out doing them? And they're splatting on it. So they can only like, kill a few of them, that's all I need. Wait. I didn't see this giant fucking shield in front of me, you dumb bitch! I wonder if she's the one who ends up killing him. Because she seems more unhinged than him, even. Also, Alistair had magic that could work against angels all this time. No one else had anything other than the weapons. And Alistair just randomly had magic that could do them. Considering it's Alistair, my thought is this is less a plot hole and more Alistair. No shit! Just, just gonna throw that out there. What? That's how they can kill us? With our own weapons? Yeah. Weak, dude. Kind of a good reason. Also, Alistair's now soloing everyone outside. His attack and defense. Did he make angelic borders? 
Is she just stabbing them all in the ass? Yes, yeah. Focus, uh, we might actually have a chance. Love the optimism. Still trying to focus. Just random head off. Over this. Ooh. One punch. But Alisha doesn't seem phased. Oh, I love that. I absolutely love that. Oh, right behind when he sees this going on. You see his shadow rearing up behind him. His Alistair's shadow has always been in tell, but this is an amazing moment. Where you see it's normal, and then you see him actually getting excited here. Like his main face is smile angry, but this one is smile. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Oh, dude. Is he going to realize he's rooting for Alistair? Who the fuck are you? Alistair, pleasure to be meeting you. He doesn't know him. I'm about to end your fucking life. Nice voice. Don't you know jazz is for pussies? Jazz? Why is that a reference? You really think you can take me on? A mortal soul. His guitar, which is now sometimes referred to as an axe, is also an axe. And that's why he does rock and roll, because he's literally an axe-wielding murderer. Yeah, I just got that joke. It's no match for me, Edgelord. You should know better than anyone what a soul can accomplish when they take charge of their own fate. Oh? What does that mean? <laughs> you think you're tough shit, huh? Just a little spawn? <laughs> you lack discipline. Control and worst, you're Holy shit, man. <laughs> so, like a little demon, he probably ate up. You. <laughs> he got super Discipline. destroyed when he said Control you're sloppy. And worst, you're okay, yeah, one, they went all out on the animation for just these few frames. There's way more going on there. That is insane. And it's all the other demons and whatnot that he ate. Or stole the horns. And more importantly, what did he mean when he said, you should know more than anyone what it means when you take control of your own soul? Or take control of your own fate. Because Alistair's entire thing is, I mean, we know he doesn't actually control because he made a deal with someone else and he got really mad at Husk for pointing it out. What does he mean by that? And you're... Fuck, fuck, fuck you, you red piece of fuck. Too much fucking red... Shut up! I doubt it. Radio is fucking dead. What just happened? <sighs> fuck. What? Yes, fuck you, Alistair. Alistair actually got hurt? <laughs> this is better than sex! Have to disagree with you there. Radio's not dead, but it is ending this. He actually got the staff was his source of power then. He was rooting for Adam. Huh. Pentius is actually a good general. Is she magicking people? She just sparkled everyone. I mean, it's a. Does that count as a flashbang? Okay, I walk right in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the eggs. Does that count as killing them since they break all the time? Angelic bullets. I nearly scrambled myself. Oh God. Oh my God. Retreated. We aren't gonna last long unless we do something about him. Pantheus. I'm trying to fight here. You out of your fucking mind? Yes. Oh. I love you. Remember me. Holy shit! He actually went for it. Eggs. Activate thrusters. Pantheus, what are you doing? Oh, because he still has his ship in the back of the hotel. <laughs> Fire. 
Oh, yeah, fuck. That been ugly. <laughs> and he just deleted it. No. You did good, no, buddy. No. Charlie, I'm so sorry. What? Is she really having a demon transformation moment? Oh shit, they got bigger! Wait, they were dragons? <laughs> Never would have saw that coming. I mean, to be fair, she's flying on a dragon. And one of them's dead. Holy shit. And yeah, she is bleeding gold. Surprise, bitch. Come on, Charlie. Your immortal life for sinners? That's some crazy shit. Even for Lucifer's brat. These sinners are my family. These sinners are my family. Do you even hear yourself? You should have stayed in your place, girly. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Princess of hell to you, pig. <laughs> the fuck? That hurts. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> okay. Stab the other one. A little lower, maybe. <laughs> also, I just realized she has the same leg wrappings that uh, I think it was Carmilla. I can never remember her name. Is I think her first name was Carmilla. But... The angel arms dealer had, yeah. You always were weak. So, I'll spare you the pain of seeing your demon bitch die. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's. Ooh. Do it then. Do it, please. Correct your mistake. She kept the Seriously, horns on. You're pathetic, you know that? Ready to die rather than accepting mercy? No. Live. Live knowing that you only do because I let you. On the one hand, yeah, that would probably hurt her a lot more. On the other hand, not safe move. Oh shit, is Vaggy about to die? A failure. <gasps> yeah, she is way crazier. I mean, it, she damaged herself. It'll come back. Oh, his mask was glitching. What? <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't here sooner, sweetie. Oh, Charlie's actually taller than him. Oh, his mask! Do I have to fight? Oh, I'm the only one that matters. See, you messed with my daughter, and now I am going to fuck you. Um. <laughs> well, <just> gonna... <laughs> <laughs> and that's what they got interested in. Lucifer saying he wants to fuck someone. Oh my god! And then Vox is just like, uh, guys, this isn't fun anymore. Interesting. Let's fuck you up, Dad. Wait, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he turned into a snake there, yeah. Wait, what? I'm the only one that matters. See you Also, I just realized Charlie's face right there. I just I just need to think this. Okay. Seriously. Where was it? Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, he has a scar on his face. Oh, it's just Charlie's face just going, Oh my dad is here. Just that It's so adorable. It's literally the moment of Daddy is here to help me and he never does this and now he's back. It's like he came back with milk moment. See, you messed with my daughter, and now I am going to fuck you. <laughs> and they're all just oh, pausing and Angel is loving it. It's fuck you up. No. Wait, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> During the snake transformation. So this is what you've been up to since Eden? Can I say you really let yourself go, buddy? Oh, you judging me? You're the most hated being in all of creation. An owl? <laughs> Oh! <laughs> I mean, it's accurate. A horse? He's having fun with this. 
Uh, squid? Damn, Charlie! You come at me and my daughter! Don't forget! You're in my house, bitch! <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Dad, he's had enough. Eh, a little more, please. Right. Has mercy he's twitching. Little bitch. No, you don't get to end this. I'm fucking Adam! I'm the fucking man, and you're just some fucking clown or something! I started everything on Earth! All of mankind came from these fucking nuts! You all should be worshipping me, you ungrateful, disgusting! I mean, completely fair. I can see why no one did. They've met him if they were, and yeah. Fucking losers! Ah! Whoa! Hey, loot? You got something sticking out of your... It's probably loot. ...your thing there. Oh, nifty! Stabbed an angel! Is that kind of kill stealing? Holy shit. I just want to see his entire thought process right now, considering Nifty nearly killed him, and he just is realizing now, oh shit, that is someone I should never piss off. Blood. <laughs> no! sir, yeah. Sir! Stay with me, sir! Adam! Nope. It's over. Take your little friends and go home. Please. Retreat! All Grabbing the halo? Fall back. So, who's up for pancakes? Why the halo? Good evening. I'm Katie Killjoy. And oh, I'm nobody gives a shit who oh. you are, Tom. Breaking news. Exterminate. Oh, I just got breaking news because she has a broken neck. Oh. To bend off the angelic attack with more than just nice words. In an unseen turn of events, our demonic head honcho Lucifer stepped in to save his daughter's hmm. ass in the last moment. Admittedly, I am a little surprised. I thought they were leading up to Vox making some moment where he would show everyone what's going on, but I guess not. Also hearing reports that Adam, leader of the Adam angelic first man. Legions, first man and totally fuckable bad boy, has been slain by a filthy janitor. The janitor said. Wait, wait, what? Is Vox now focusing on someone else? He is! Vox is now obsessed with Nifty. Admittedly, I hope this is entirely true, not just me misspeculating, because Nifty and Bugs will lead to Valentino being very afraid, and that is never something bad. And <laughs> she has stage fright. Congrats yep. to Charlie and her crew for not being totally fucking useless for one. Hotel's gone. Where's Alistair? Oh, Kiki's alive. Oh, they're there. It's... Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Fat Nugget survived. Wait, what did that say? Happy what? I thought saw a Serpentius, but... Happy first week, Serpent. Oh, it was from when he was first brought into the hotel in like episode, I guess, Amazon episode one, after the pilot. He did it for us. He got done dirty just being poofed out. He gave me his trust. And look how we paid the price. This bloodshed could have been avoided if I convinced heaven to work together. Now with current I leadership. Hotel and I destroyed it. I know I could have done better, better instead of letting you down. Come on, little lady, why the frown in the last 10,000 years? You're the first one to change this town. Because his depression was all falling now apart. For your story <laughs> is Hope is one hell of a drug. You can't quit now. Hell, you owe it. There's 
still damage to be undone. You've changed my mind, you've touched their hearts, found the good in souls gone bad. The stage is wrecked, the crowd is gone, but by God, Charlie, the show it must go. God damn it. <laughs> it's not even a can do this, we can build it. Why do these kind of songs get me? It's not even that uplifting, but it is that uplifting. Also, Bad Nuggets is smiling. What? Oh, hell! Okay, so he hit randomly has Kiki as the ultimate fuck it. I don't need anything. I can build it myself. Yeah, Kiki is overpowered. Or overpowered, yeah. OP cat. And they're rebuilding the hotel. After the battle, masterless cattle, overlords hanging by a thread. He still thinks Alish is gone. There's no way. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I doubt it. Calling it now? The camera she has taking a picture of this is going to glitch out because Alistair is just watching them. Wait for it. Oh, I thought that would be the intro. Oh, his radio tower. Freedom from who? The constraints of my deal surely have a back door. Deal with who? Once I figure out how to unclip my wings, guess who will be pulling all the strings? And setting him up as the next villain because something's constraining him, so he's trying to get out of it. But who did he make a deal with? And that's why he hated it, because he didn't like actually have him follow the rules. Because he likes being evil. Who sent Alistair? It's a happy game, huh? I kind of wish it was just him taunting Vox, but whoa, shit, that got upgraded. What? What? I'm sorry, just did Just the face right there. Did she just. He has hearts everywhere. <laughs> and you just see her going like, I was right, and her going, oh, no. If the phrase, there goes the neighborhood, isn't going through her head, <laughs> well, someone should punch her to find out. Yeah, maybe have it leak out, see what comes out. If it doesn't, just hit him harder. Give him the full Adam treatment. What? Adam is dead. Your deal is done, and I'm in charge now. What? Your brat is threatening the very foundation of heaven. And if you want to stay here, you're going down there and stopping that bitch. You understand? Wait. Loot had a deal with Lilith. And it ended because of Adam dying. That's probably why she brought the halo. What? Understand. Lilith. What the hell? I mean, I got there was a lot going on there, but that final song is like, we're going to build it up. We got a huge hotel and it looks awesome now. But Alistair saying he's chafing at the restraints because he wants freedom because he hates the fact that he made a deal that forced him to fight unironically to save his friends, which he hated because that's not him. And he nearly died and he hates us. So he wants freedom from the deal because he doesn't want to be altruistic. 
So the reason I had so much issue with him before trying to figure out what the hell is going on with his mind is because what he wants and what he has to do are different. And that's why he always has the filter on because when he's sincere, he has the filter removed. But he's always lying because he's playing the part of a good person to help Charlie. I don't know. So there's that deal and he's trying to get out of it because he wants to go full evil, selfish, all on his own. At least that's my assumption there. But then there's whatever the hell deal Lilith made with Loot or Adam. And it ended with Adam's death. And it involved Lilith staying in heaven. She's only been missing for a few years or like seven years, I think. I, I could be mistaken. I'm not sure of that part of the lore. So it had to be a reason deal. It couldn't be anything to do with the exterminations because those were going on well beforehand. Also, there's apparently a beachside. I I thought this would be more of a wrap up. This actually feels more like a giant moment of there's a lot of stuff we're moving forward. The initial antagonist is dead, but there's so much more going on, including that's probably why loot out crazied Adam at the beginning of the episode to show that he's not the be all end all. There's still crazier, way worse people who can be dealt with. Hmm. The only thing I'm really surprised about is that Vox didn't have another moment where he's like, Oh shit, they're going to lose. And I'm not the one game to do it. I thought he would want to see himself killing Alistair more than anything else. Apparently not. Hmm. Well, it would be kind of funny when he finds out Alistair's still alive, just the sheer, ah, fuck, desperation of that. Again, admittedly, I could watch the first episode to see this. We probably won't touch on it much beyond the fact they already did it. <sighs> this was awesome, and I'm glad I got to see this, but the only problem is now I'm thinking, uh, hopefully it's not another four years until season two. Yep. And this is why I haven't canceled my Amazon subscription. Because I'm not sure I can wait. Oh boy. Any distraction? If anyone has a recommendation, let me know. I'll probably check it out. More importantly, again, link to Vivsy Pop's channel. Hit it up. And if there's anything I missed, there was a lot going in on this episode. But also, it felt like it was the biggest... It was a conclusion that answered just enough that it felt good... But there's just so many questions. I know I missed information. I know there's things I probably should be asking right now that I'm just kind of blown away with everything else on, so I'm being distracted. If you caught it, let me know. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.